Hey folks, Rod at RK Auto Detailing. I yeah, just wanted to get this intro in. It's a little offshoot from the rest of the video. The SD card got corrupt and I lost about a third of my footage. Therefore, uh, I've had to piece together what I could pull off from it. So I hope you enjoy it. And I will get some more. We have several more vehicles lined up. Extremely busy right now. So thanks for hanging in there, subscribing, and don't forget the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So as soon as we hit that mark, um, we'll hopefully be live and uh, announcing who's getting that. See you soon. Welcome back to the channel. Rod with RK Auto Detailing. And as you can see, we're in the car. I'm loaded up and we had a two hour drive to go down and I've got a full detail with a one step polish and a 10 year the System X Max ceramic coat on a brand new vehicle. It's just over a month old. So we're going to give it a full, complete um, ceramic uh, paint wheels plastic trim on the exterior and a full uh, interior detail along with all the ceramic protection from System X on the uh, leather and carpeting. So I'll get that footage out but I just figured while I'm driving do a little morning uh, with the morning drive just do a little babbling here. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I've gotten a video out. Uh, the weather has been very inclement. It seems like just as uh, the first of the week, the weather would start getting nice. And it just turned around and dumped snow, dumped snow. Then it was just those, uh, tornadoes and all that. A lot of, we got a lot of that after effect of high winds and a lot of inclement weather through the end of the week. So that uh, that can hinder a lot of people. Well, one of my maintenance clients, uh, he put off for a couple weeks. He's like, why am I gonna get cleaned up and turn around and go see that back out of the garage. It's just, you know, a mess. So we compromised and just put it off. I got that tomorrow. So this is Friday. And uh, so I'm keeping pretty busy. I still got two more full ceramics uh, coming at us. I am just waiting for this weather to, uh, just to knock it off and uh, stay consistent with some sunshine and warm weather. Uh, my yard around the house has just been a complete uh, lake and saturated but uh, not a whole lot going on new with us uh, I'm not editing this I'm gonna upload it right to the channel uh, like I said just morning babbling I appreciate the new subscribers that have come on and uh, we're definitely working with more of the YouTube shorts uh, just to kind of showcase and highlight a few things we do so, uh, keeping busy with this, uh, for the most part, between the YouTube channel and the detailing. Um, the, like I said, definitely looking forward for the, the good weather to come along. I've got so many plans to take you along with me as uh, we are, uh, we've got some car shows that we're going to be hitting up as often as we can uh, down in Indiana. Uh, Looking at the uh, RV industry down there too. Uh, not so much in the manufacturing. May talk to one or two, but I'm looking at uh, customers that have recently purchased or have fairly new, like uh, the higher end fifth wheel motor coaches, you know, that have automotive paint that they're putting on. And that usually comes with the higher end stuff, not so much the, uh, the mid, -le uh, mid level and entry level uh, RVs. Um, the other thing, um, I decided to branch out and go uh, farther than just uh, in, in my near vicinity of where I, I based myself out of there in uh, Hudsonville, Michigan, but I am looking uh, one to two states away to basically uh, have had some customers inquire and I said, look, you can get, you know, these are customers with fairly new vehicles uh, within the last one to three years old and I said hey if you 
you know someone that just wants a detail to kind of offset uh, because the ceramic coat on those alone would pay pay for pretty much everything and still be profitable but I said just throw in one more vehicle I can make a two or three day weekend to come down and uh, do their do their uh, stuff and someone else so I'm definitely working uh, to expand my thinking on uh, marketing and that is uh, you know we don't have uh, our, our, my, my mode of transportation to go out in mobile detail you know everything's paid off so there's nothing um, leveraged on finance so it's just all about what the vehicle gets in mileage the price of gas and uh, in my lodging so I uh, my lodging I pretty much get I, I'm 99% uh, get my lodging for free so it's just a matter of uh, just getting down there <laughs> so I'm definitely looking around the Midwest area to, to expand more and just get out there and offer offer up uh, some good quality service and yeah, mobile detailing uh, right along with the uh, ceramic coating but uh, you know what do you guys got going on out there you know comment down below and let me know, uh, you know what what y'all get jazzed up about with the summer being here you know coming up uh, here Friday Good Friday by Easter weekend uh, what are y'all looking forward to for the summer what, what's your plan uh, any of you detailers are looking to get into it or just you know DIY and just keep uh, your own personal vehicle cleaned up and going uh, looking for steam um, I have put out uh, on the side note we have been advertising too and uh, that's like I said been a hot minute but we are doing a giveaway because I need to get uh, the, I'm not too concerned on the subscriber count I'm more uh, just getting some good content out to you folks and for the few that are out there hey thank you for being here though um, for me to go live on these YouTubes I need a minimum of 50 subscribers before, before they'll unlock that feature and that will just give me a limited amount of people that can chime in on the live once I hit the thousand it's not so much getting uh, the monetary for the videos as much as also unlocking the live and having unlimited people in the chat on the live I'm, I'm focusing on the live right now we're here set up just wanted to go over this before we got too far into it. I just started a little bit of vacuuming. This is the 2023 Hyundai Santa Fe that we're gonna get detailed. And we're going through the full detail, then the ceramic coat to follow. I'm gonna do the interior first. Do a little survey here not bad full and leather interior and my good friend here this is his shop believe it's 40 by 50 or 30 by 50 I know it's deeper I want to say 40 by 50 but so that's where we get to work out of here and he's got a pretty good size yard with acreage cement pads and all that so that'll allow us for RVs and other jazz as we ramp through the summer here we'll be down out of this shop quite quite often in this area so just wanted to give you a little peek at this as we progress forward Uh, 
well, we got finished up with the vacuuming. Kind of spare you with uh, all the details, vacuuming, vacuuming. And it was easy, you know, it's a new car, just the driver's side, I gotta just scrub up a little more before I put the uh, ceramic interior on that, which will be the last thing I do. So right now, I'm just getting ready using my Jack's Wax interior cleaner. Just gonna go through, give this a complete wipe down, including the seats. The seats don't need to be stripped. That's one thing uh, I wanted to point out is, this is brand new, I don't believe all they put was like grocery bags or something on these seats. They're maybe five, six weeks old, uh, the whole vehicle, since it came out the dealer lot at the very most. So there's nothing to be addressed that needs to be stripped down. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Seats are fine. I'm just gonna clean them with the, with the interior clean, basically to just get any dirt, and you know, from just sitting on it since new. Grab my light here, I apologize. But yeah, this has just been really nice. It's just nice to be able to work on something like this. So not a lot, most of the vehicle, most of the vehicle is, for the most part, easy and clean. This side's the only side I may have to do a little more scrubbing on the carpeting. You can see there where there's sand and all that. So I may put the drill brush and just hit the edges of that. They collect it around the mat. So a lot of just dust and all that. So fingerprints on the screen. So that's it, clean the windows. Get the uh, ceramic on there and just keep moving forward because we got our hands full out here yet. I'm going to do a one-step polish on this. So I just wanted to bring you up to speed where I'm at and we'll continue on. Interior is done. Just want to give one more showcase everything. I went through a whole bottle of that ceramic interior, but everything got dressed. That's still drying there in the middle, just FYI. I did this half. Stepped away for a few minutes, came back. But it's done. And ceramic. The owner already stopped out on their lunch break and took a look. Very, very clean. Just seeing it re-cleaned up. Everything's done. All the glass on here. It's not a lot to clean when it's already new. But wanted to make a point here of what it looks like after the ceramic. So they're curious too. Not that they want to go make a, a spill or stain on it, but this definitely will give the vinyl and leather protection and especially the carpeting. Um, they did, when they stopped out, they did say um, they ordered new mats from WeatherTech. What they had to do, because this is a hybrid, 
They do not offer floor mats for this, but when they went and looked at another Santa Fe non-hybrid, it's the same floor plan. Therefore, they just ordered the floor mats for a Santa Fe non-hybrid. So that's what you'd have to do if you have one of these Hyundais. So you gotta kinda think outside the box sometimes, but they'll be here tomorrow. I'll be gone, but they're pretty jazzed up with those coming. So you get going here and start clay barring the outside. Getting going on the clay barn, but I wanted to show you something here with this clay barn. This car is white and it just looks, you know, first impression, it's clean. Why would you clay bar? That's dirty. Everything I'm getting there, all the impurities. And that's just this little bit right here. Just this little bit of white. And that's just off of that. So that's why it's so crucial. It's the prep work. I'm not a fan of it. I love the polishing. I love the ceramic coating. But it's all this work up to get there. It's like putting the finishing touches on your house, but getting the foundation and everything set is, is the tedious and hard work. But the end result is so rewarding. So I just wanted to show you why. And it's not just that, but it's these impurities that you don't see with the naked eye, you know, on the surface. But not only do you get this, but bugs and down below around the rockers and stuff, you know, road tire, anything that's kicked up off from the road, that's a uh, it has an uh, impactor impede onto the uh, surface. You know, you're getting that all off before you take the polisher to it and end up smearing all this all around and either stirring it up or taking the abrasive and just scratching more of the finish. So everything's got a step and, and its place on your way to the polishing and the ceramic coating and the final finish. So just like a, a body shop and a body man, just getting everything, all the steps to get in that final clear coat and the final um, cut and polish in the product. So just know that this isn't just... Uh, you're just gonna do this in a couple hours. It's, this, is, this is pretty much a full day between the interior, the exterior. So, you know, you're, you're sectioning out a day to get this done. So, as far as for me, I'm a one-man band, one-man person doing this, but if you had two or three guys and you all could think alike and be in sync with each other doing this, yeah, you could cut that right in half. and probably do two or three of these cars a day if you all had a good system going. So, I just wanted to bring this uh, into a video to show you why everything is done the way it is. So, we'll keep moving along, get the clay barn done, so we can get onto the polishing. And also, this car's getting glass. It's a pan panoramic glass in there. This car's got a lot of glass. So I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. So I'm gonna talk to the owner and see. I, I only brought a bottle, but I, I wasn't taking this into an account or I would've grabbed a second bottle before I left. As we're moving through the clay barn, I just wanna point out here, the owner already has two deep stone chips and that is metal, that dark gray. That is the metal. So actually, here he is now. So let's see. He doesn't want to be on camera, but I got to point this out to him. So I just want to show you why we do the steps we do with the clay barn. This shows us a lot of the imperfections beforehand the polisher gets out. So we're going to continue on. I'm going to bring this to his attention. And the correction for this is I want to make a statement right now on this. Ceramic coating doesn't fix this stuff and it doesn't prevent this. What prevents this would be a clear bra, which is that, that clear like saran uh, film, PPF, paint protection film. Now on a vehicle like this, you know you're gonna keep this for a period of time. That's where the PPF would be good along the, the painted front, but especially the hood and the fender. So I just wanna make that statement now. Just check in here. But stone chips, the ceramic coat, it doesn't, doesn't keep, uh, you, you're still gonna get stone chips through the ceramic coat. That's where the PPF comes in. So we're gonna continue on and uh, I'll point out some more stuff as, as we go through this process. Before we get polishing, just do a walk through. This thing really brightened up. But I want to bring in light when the car already looked clean and that thing is used up. So it really, really shows when you think you got your car washed and clean well uh, because they, they had cleaned the car themselves. So they wanted to uh, save the time what I'm doing here. So thorough wash and definitely clay bar when either you're doing a polish and ceramic or polish and wax, either way, uh, that clay bar is the good uh, intermediate tool to make sure you get all those impurities so your polisher just doesn't go in there and grind all that. That end up being, you know, that could have been a lot of stuff getting smeared all over and adding more damage than doing any good. So I just wanted to bring in light and I brought up a couple things to the owner. Uh, the two stone chips we went over, but also there was a dent they did not know uh, along the way right there, hard to see. Can see it if I roll it across, you can see it right there. So I did. So I told him, I said, Well, that's everything on here, any flaws. So um, we're gonna get moving on and um, 
get this thing polished. I did put the sticker already because I didn't want to forget. So that's already there from System X on the interior and that's already registered into the Carfax. So they will always have that in the car's history going forward that it was professionally treated and cleaned. So here we go. Move on to the next segment. All right, we're here, we're late. It's going on midnight, we finished this up. The Max here. We actually got the whole car done on one bottle. And surprisingly, and uh, we did get the glass on. And I just wanted to show you all because you don't get to see this unless uh, you crack the box open. But that's the Max certification. And what that does is I scan that and that goes up to System X. And also that goes to your Carfax. So that's your warranty. And like I said earlier, your Carfax. So I've already got the interior uploaded to the Carfax. I just gotta do the glass and the Max. Get that all registered before I leave here. But this came out great. All the plastic down there, all the max, all the way around that black plastic, wheels, and this stuff is baby smooth. So very, very impressed with it. Get the rear glass and the windshield. That little bottle just didn't go far enough and I didn't want to get on one of the side windows and then come up short. So the next order I do, I'm gonna get a bigger bottle. But Boy, you can see those wheels are just popping. And that's that's the max. That's not, there's no wheel or tire dressing on there. That is the max on that rim. So, I'll just show you all. When I put this in, these are all your re registrations right here. And that's your max registration there. And that's your scan card for your uh, glass and then your scan card for your interior. So, anyhow, wanted to get this in. I'm sorry, I did not have time. We were getting pressed for time to sit here and show you all of the application of the ceramic coating. But it's on there, it turned out great. It's the first time putting the Max on in a full, uh, complete wheels, plastic, um, paint, and the front grille, as you saw there, and the headlight lenses. So all the headlight, taillight lenses, all that plastic up there, everything is all Max. So this is gonna have a, a, a great lasting effect and then we're gonna follow up with maintenance uh, later on into like the summer, early fall, and then we'll get the System X Renew on here for a top coat and get them ready for next winter. But definitely I uh, can't express enough how this has been turning out each uh, System X bottle I've been putting on. Until next time folks, Rod at RK Auto Detailing.